Today it's nice and sunny, so I have my snuggly coat on and we are going to sit, talk one-on-one -on, -one on some of Nykaa's bestsellers or most hyped about products. Janvi loves, this one loves, whatever, whoever loves it. I'm here to tell you which one to buy, which one to avoid because I have tested it all out. Now Nykaa as a brand is something that everybody has a love-hate relationship with. Only because like in the Indian diaspora, I feel that they are one of the biggest cosmetic giants. They have a lot of hits and misses like every other makeup brands. But I feel with the kind of connection that they have, the kind of PR drive that they have, the kind of reach and the kind of money and infrastructure, they can cater to deeper skin tones. They kind of dismiss the deeper skin tones and you would notice that when it comes to working with YouTubers as well, they don't work with the South Indians. It's mostly the North Indians and that is something that Nykaa really needs to work upon. This is obviously not a sponsored video. Everything I'm showing you is bought with my own money. I am just here to help you guys because Nykaa doesn't send me any PR nor do I don't think that they are willing to work with me especially after my last video where I was helping a lot of you who got fake products. I think Nykaa got a little bit pissed off regarding that. Not my fault. I was just looking out for my friends online. So you can go check out that video because I had a good conversation with the CEO of Nykaa, the co-owner of Nykaa, and she did give her private email so that you guys can go and contact her if you feel that you've got a faulty product. So like I said, no harm done out here. I'm not going to bash a brand. I would never do that because it's hard work end of the day. I'm not going to do anything negative or talk negatively. I'm just going to tell you what I liked, what I didn't like, so that it will help you save on your money and or get a product that will be something that you'll really, really enjoy. So let's get started, guys. So this is no studio lights. I'm doing this in proper sunlight, so you'll be able to see the complexion. You'll be able to see how it sits on the face pretty much because with studio lights, it can get deceiving. So Nykaa doesn't have a primer. It's not yet launched, so I picked up the Pack Pro Professional Primer. And if you want to know the good and bad of Pack Cosmetics, then please go to the info bar right now. Okay, so a friend of mine came down to London to stay with me and I tried her palette from Nykaa. Poor girl went and picked up the Skin Genius Conceal and Correct palette, okay? And it was something that both of us did not enjoy. In fact, she was like, do you want it? Do you want to keep it? I was like, no, please, because it's a complete waste for me. I'm not going to use it. So for me, I'm giving that a miss because it was not as creamy and blendable as I wanted it to. Uh, it dried off very quickly. There were some palettes that were really dry. And then when you warm it up on your skin, it has a tendency of being really streaky and it managed to emphasize the lines under, you know, under my eye. And I'm not going to waste my money on something that is not of high quality. So for my concealer, again, I'm going to use the Pat Spotlight Concealer that I have been loving. This, according to me, is like a better quality version of the Shape Tape. Just the color. I've explained all about the Spotlight Concealer. Go check out the video. I'm using 09 Melon. The conversation that I had with the co-owner of Nykaa, Adweta, it was very, very positive. And even that time when I was talking to her, I did tell her how disappointed I was with the shade range of the foundation. The Stick Foundation Skin Genius. The Skin Genius uh, Hydrating Sculpting and Hydrating Foundation. And the other one is the Skin Genius BB. I have my thoughts on this because of the shade range. I think they have got only five shades. Even the darker shade is not dark enough. So there is a slight problem and getting yourself matched to it can get, tend to be a little problematic and tricky, especially online because uh, it's not true to its color what they're showing basically on the website, okay? The stick one, I would say stay away from it. It has a tendency to dry, dry out really quickly. It uh, doesn't sit well on the face. I think Makeup Revolution Stick Foundation and Tri Sugar have better stick foundation. That one I just did not like. It wasn't my favorite at all. Now, when it comes to the BB cream, I feel that the one that I got is Rich Honey. It's, it's pretty okay. I won't say that it's one of the best BB cream. The BB cream is definitely nice. I do wish I went for a shade darker to this Rich Honey but i do wish that it had more coverage okay so on one side of the face i'm going to apply the bb cream and on the other side i'm going to apply the skin genius hydrating foundation but something about this foundation just doesn't sit really well it's not the best bb cream but i would say for the price it's pretty reasonable 
thing about this BB cream, it's 349 rupees. It's got an SPF of 30 and it's got only about five shades. So you do uh, tend to get that extra protection, but please make sure that you still wear your sun uh, sunscreen. The Skin Genius is around 518. You get around 30 ml of it. I absolutely love it. I've got 03 Warm Sands. Why I think that this is a genius, genius product is because it has a sort of ingredient that adapts to your skin tone. So even if you go a little wrong, for example, I took 03, I could have gone for 04, okay? And even if I took 03, it warms up according to the pigments that your skin has, which I think is genius. I just feel that they should extend on this range because I feel that they have a very good formula in this. This is definitely something that if you reach out to you won't regret the purchase because i feel this is better than the bb cream it sits very well it just gives you that decent coverage okay it is buildable it's not a full coverage or a medium coverage it is something that you need to build but the skin looks really beautiful with this it looks radiant it looks fresh so as you can see this side of the face has a decent coverage this side of the face with the bb cream doesn't so i am going to apply this on this side of the face also. So before going with the rest of the makeup, I'm using the Lip Crush Macron Lip Balm from Nykaa, relatively new in the Nykaa scene. Chocolate Hazelnut is the flavor that I've got. It's a pretty good lip balm, definitely. I do love the packaging of this. It does moisturize the lips. The packaging is pretty cute. Of course, an idea that they were inspired by a Korean lip balm that is of the same packaging. Definitely not something that is a must have, but even if you think that the packaging is cute and you really want to reach out for it, I don't think that this is something that you're going to be mad about so I'm pretty much enjoying this now to set my face I don't think Nykaa has a loose powder correct me if I'm wrong but they do have a compact powder this is warm honey this is the skin genius compact powder from Nykaa and you know what I really really like it again the only negative thing is they really need to increase that shade range because with the skin genius foundation the hydrating one and the compact powder I feel that this is definitely much better than the sugar one for me, actually, this is just my opinion. It sits really well. For me, the sugar was not, I don't know, something about it just did not come on my powder puff a lot. It just didn't sit well. But this one definitely sits really well. It gives me that hydration uh, and it gives me a little bit of coverage. But I love the way that it sits on my face uh, because of the ingredients like hyaluronic acid. All that beautiful ingredients are there in this compact powder. And I have been enjoying this a lot. Because during winter time, I'm an NC40, I think this is a compact, this color, this shade, Warm Honey, is something that I can apply during summertime when I tan badly, almost to an NC42. So now when it comes to eye palettes, usually Nykaa gets the eye makeup right, their kajals and their eyeliner, they're pretty decent, okay? But the Nykaa just wink it, okay, the wet and dry eyeshadow palettes, which I tried. So the shade that I tried was Smoking Heart 01. It retails around 650 rupees, and you know what? It's something that I just gave it a miss. I wasn't very happy with the pigmentation. It was a little bit too streaky on my eyelids. I didn't like the way that the colors were not popping. And I don't feel that that's a product that many people are happy with. So if I were you, I would not spend my money on that. Now, another bestseller of theirs is Malibu Barbie. This is Nykaa Get Cheeky Blush Duo. You get a pretty pink shade on one side and a darker pink. And it just gives you a very nice, almost like... Um, an ombre effect okay ombre is for the hair but you know what I mean that gradation that happens from light pink to dark pink and it's really lovely this is also one of their best sellers this particular shade okay it retails for around 699 rupees I am enjoying this blush this light pink is not as pigmented as this dark pink but I feel there is a reason for it is because when you swirl your brush around it it just gives you a nice offset of that warm flush of color that happens on your cheeks this definitely is a beautiful color you guys many a times i use this also as my eyeshadow so that's what i'm going to do the rest of my face i'm just going to swirl it like this take both the colors this reminds me so much of the charlotte tilbury you know cheek to cheek and i'm just going to swirl that on the apples of my cheeks all the way to my temple area so that it gives me a lifted look 
Again, for around 699 rupees, this is Nykaa Glow Getter Highlighter Duo in Glitterati 02. I do like this highlighter. A little goes a long way. It gives you that natural glow, but it has a little bit of a shimmer. There's no glitter in it. So if you're worried about shimmer being in your highlighter, then I don't think, uh, you know, this one is for you. But why I love the Glitterati 02 is because it's got this pure gold kind of a reflex, which looks really good on deeper skin tone. So I'm going to take the gold side of it and I'm just going to apply that little bit. So this kind of a tone reminds me so much of the Huda Beauty highlighters, which actually emphasizes my texture a lot more. And I feel compared to the Huda Beauty, this one is pretty, pretty decent. But if you had to ask me which highlighter you should pick up between this and the pack, I would say, please go for the pack one. Now, of all the highlighters that they have, for me, I enjoy Nykaa Get Inked only because of how the felt tip is. It gives you that really intense black eyeliner. And at the same time, I love how the felt tip, I think it is nice and thin enough to give you a proper winged eye effect. So if you are someone who's struggling with a winged eyeliner, if you are a beginner, I think you can just buy this. This is pretty, pretty decent. And it does give you that very sharp flick. Nike I get ink retails for around 450 rupees and this is something that I enjoy as well. Okay, so the Nykaa Brow Chica Wow Eyebrow Pencil is another favorite for many people. I don't have it in hand, so I won't be able to give you my opinion on it. So I'm just going to pass that. I've used my favorite Urban Decay. This is the brow blade. So when it comes to mascara, Nykaa doesn't have a mascara. I'm using the Pack Volume Blast, one of my favorite mascara at the moment. Now when it comes to their colored eyeliners as well, I've been enjoying it. I think they're very, very nice, especially the Glamour Eyes. I've got the green 0307 and 0. Five. This is Dragon's Heart. This is 03. This is 05 Dragon's Heart. A beautiful coppery brown color. Look at the pigmentation in this. It's so, so nice. And this is Poisonous Plum 07. Such a beautiful deep purple berry color. I really like the green one, the 03. They are very, very pigmented. They last for a very long time. For the price that you're paying, it is slightly less, but I have been enjoying it. I think it is really lovely. If you're looking out for a very good colored eyeliner, then you should check it out. Of all the Kajal pencils that Nykaa has, okay, the one that I have is Nykaa Rock the Line Kajal. Then I have uh, Nykaa I am 24 7 Kajal, another favorite of many, many people. Then they, this is the Nykaa I am Bold, one of my favorite. This I am Bold eye pencil is the most creamiest, blackest eye pencil out there in the Indian market. This reminds me so much of the Lakme Chubby Stick. It does give you that little sting in your eye, but if you can bear it, because it goes within a few seconds, just like the Lakme one, it's not too overpowering. In fact, I find the Lakme Chubby Sticks a lot more overpowering. This is a beautiful eye pencil. I think it really stays on that waterline. If you are having a shadi, a function, and you want that really dark black Kajal pencil, give this one a shot. After this, I think what I really like is the I am 24 seven Kajal. It's decent. It's not like the best. It doesn't come to the same level as the I am bold, but it's pretty good. And it's something that you don't need to sharpen. So if you're looking out for something that's a little more waxy, then you can reach out for this. The one that I really did not enjoy is Nykaa Rock the Line Kajal. Definitely something that you can give it a miss. If you saw my top colored eye pencil, I did mention about the Glamour Eyes, another favorite of mine from Nykaa. These colored eye pencils are very, very vivid and they are very long lasting, creamy and heavily pigmented. So that is why it came in my top favorites and something that I would definitely recommend from their line. Okay. So these are the eye pencils that I really love when it comes to their colored eyeliners and eye pencils, they have totally nailed it. So another relatively new launch from Nykaa are their lip liners. This is the Lips Don't Lie. Pillow Fight is what I got, 02. So this is that very old school pencil which you really need to sharpen. But what I love about it is that it's not too waxy, it's not too creamy. They've just got it really perfect. And this shade in particular, Pillow Fight, is beautiful. It's that very Kylie Jenner pinky brown lip liner. It reminds me so much of the Pack Color Lock, though Pack is a lot more creamier. This is really nice. You can sharpen it and you can really give your 
outer line of the lips a little more definition and pout and I would really really recommend this I've been enjoying this a lot just like their eye pencils and their eyeliners what Nykaa really nails every time are their lipsticks when it comes to lipsticks these guys really know how to work with the formula but their liquid lipstick is not uh, long lasting that's my only problem and it has a tendency of drying just a 0.5% right on the inner side. It's very, very light. That's what I like. It feels as if you have nothing on, but it just isn't long lasting. And when you spend that much money, you want something that is long lasting. Now, let's talk about another one, which is everybody's favorite, and that's the paint sticks. And I really like it. If you're looking out for something that has got that creamy satin finish, then the paint sticks are also wonderful. What I love about the paint sticks is that it's got a beautiful nude shades, okay? A variety of new shades so that is also something that I really really like now I don't want to make this video really lengthy so that is why I'm not swatching all of my Nykaa lipsticks I plan to do a separate video only on the Nykaa lipsticks that I have now let's talk about the matte lip crayons and oh my god yes 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 for me that is Nykaa's winning product the matte lip crayons are not only delicious I'm not talking about taste wise I'm talking of how lush it is on your lips it has a tendency of giving you that pout heavily pigmented it stays really matte but not that drying matte very true to its color it's one of their best product and something that I totally recommend from the Nykaa range the two things that I'm not that impressed about are their lip glosses which for me are not as shiny and gel like as I want it to be that is a formula that they can definitely improve and the other one is the so matte lipsticks and I, you guys I've spoken about the so matte before I don't know why they call it matte because because it's definitely a satin finish it's not as pigmented as I want it to be and it's a lipstick definitely I can give it a miss if you are somebody who does not like really drying mattes then you can definitely try their paint sticks which according to me is a much better formula than the so matte okay now the ultra matte let's talk about their ultra matte lipsticks and I really like the ultra matte it is quite it gives you that tug on the lips it's not something that goes like one stroke color that heavy pigmentation is there but it does tug your lip but it is one of that is matte that is some really matte stuff okay it's better than the matte lipsticks in my opinion the colors are really beautiful there are some beautiful beautiful shades like i said in my next nika lipstick videos you'll be able to see the swatch what a stunning color jane is jane is absolutely fantastic so i have completed most of the makeup now let's talk about other products from nika that you can buy and you can skip so now let's talk about nika nail polishes i I have spoken about the Nykaa nail polish in my top nail polish video go check it out that will also be there in the info bar and the only thing that I did not like from Nykaa are their gel shine for me this did not impress me it chips very badly I absolutely adore the Nykaa mattes I think they are very true to its color very very pigmented stays really matte dries quickly so if you are somebody on the go that just doesn't want to wait for their nail polish to dry you should check out the um, the matte the matte nail polishes from Nykaa I've explained it all in detail in my nail polish video and another thing that I like from Nykaa is the unicorn portion which is so lovely you guys it gives that iridescent shimmer it gives that dual tone on your nails and it is really lovely I love the packaging very Christian Louboutin kind of inspired packaging for sure I haven't tried Nykaa brushes or sponge and this is the buff master this is one of those things that you clean the brush with it's pretty decent nothing to be too excited about it does the trick it's I, I like the way that you can just you know insert your fingers into this so that it gives you a better grip and it's pretty decent I like it when it comes to sheet mask I don't have the Nykaa one though I've not been hearing good things about it from people online who have given me their opinion they said that if you have sensitive skin it has a tendency of burning so when it comes to sheet mask I feel no one does it better than the Koreans okay so get the Korean ones the Korean brands from Nykaa my favorite is the face shop I think they do some incredible cheap uh, sheet mask and they really make a difference to the complexion my favorite is the rice one from the face shop and the other two are from the brand called Deer Packer. The two favorite one is fenugreek cucumber and this is turmeric and yogurt. And these two I really, really enjoy you guys. I can see how hydrating it 
pigmentation to my skin, I can see the difference at the same time. It does enhance that complexion just a little bit. And that hydration is what I'm looking out for. And these three, I mean, these three sheets give me that, these two brands in particular. Now, the last one that I wanted to talk about to finish the good and bad of Nika are their essential oils, which was supposed to be the biggest launch, the most anticipated and something that what really got my attention and made me a little upset was that they were suggesting to put essential oil directly on the face, on the hair, which shouldn't be the case. Usually essential oil is one of the strongest, most potent thing and it can really burn a sensitive skin. And I bought a couple of them. I was very excited to try the turmeric. I thought if I diluted it and I applied it on my face, I would enjoy it a lot more. This reminded me so much of those essential oils that you put in a spa, like you burn, basically you put a candle underneath so that the room will be smelling really nice. The fragrance of it is not appealing. It reminds me so much of phenol. Yes, that's the one. It reminds me of phenol. It really stung my face, okay? There was that stinging feeling that I had, which was not very nice. It wasn't a good feeling for me, all right? I knew that I was going to break out. Something that I would ask you to, walk with caution okay thread very carefully when you're buying this if you are thinking of mixing it maybe it might work for you otherwise i would definitely give this one a miss so this is the best and worst of nika i hope you really enjoyed watching this i hope i've made it easier for you to pick up the good ones and the bad ones i really like my makeup i think nika when it comes to skin genius foundation and the powder and many other things they should increase that range because with the foundation, they have definitely got a winning, winning formula. But when it comes to lipsticks, they can do no harm. I think their strong points are their eye makeup, not the eyeshadow, and their lipsticks. I think they have really nailed it when it comes to formulation and pigmentation. And I shall see you when I see you. Bye for now.